All right, everybody, time for some fun. So, as you may know, I currently do not have access to Mentor Roulette. I'm going to need to unlock it again. But what I do have are a lot of jobs that need to be leveled. And so, I'm thinking that while I can't run Mentor Roulettes, what I can do is get back on the Wondrous Tales grind. So, let's talk to our good friend Chloe Aliapo here, my best friend in the whole world. Receive a new copy of Wondrous Tales. Holy crap, my inventory is full. Um... Hold on a second. Store as much of this junk as I can. Okay, where were we? So, here's the plan. I'm going to do Wondrous Tales, and I'm going to do them on White Mage, because I want healer cues, but I'm leveling my main scholar through the MSQ. So let's go ahead and see what we've got on the agenda today. It has quite a lot of dungeons, a circus tower, Weeping City. Yeah, it seems uh, almost all of this will be easily queued for. So, let's start at the top and just uh, work our way through. We got dungeons 1 through 49, dungeons 50, 259, and also 60, so... I'm going to try my luck. Odds are, with the leveling roulette, I have a pretty good chance of getting a Realm Reborn or Heavensward Dungeon, which is what these would have to be. If it's anything else, I'll be wasting my time. The Tower of Babel. Ah, crap. Well, at least it'll be good XP. Do I play White Mage at 84? Uh, let's just figure it out, huh? Ah, yes. We simply cast Holy. Lovely. Ah, I see. My DPS are a Picto and a Viper. I forgot everybody's queuing for Endwalker Dungeons because they need leveling. I should have known better. Oh god, the tank actually takes damage here. And misery. Crap, dude. I mismanaged my resources a little bit. Well, it all worked out in the end. Anyway, it's Barnabas time. Ah, yes, the Magnet Attack. We Man, the worst part about White Mage is I actually have to press buttons because I don't have Selene here to do all the work for me. We Listen, Square Enix, it's 2024. It's time for White Mage to have Selene. Scholar's level 100 ability is turning into a White Mage. Can uh, White Mage's level 100 ability be summoning Selene? I don't see re any reason why it shouldn't be. All right. Time for the elevator segment. Everybody loves a good elevator segment, huh? Okay, we got three layers of regen on the tank, and I'm casting holy. Life ain't so bad, you know? Life ain't so bad. Nothing like a non-stop stun bomb. Get stunned, idiots. Okay, finally off the elevator. And misery. Easy. People say Dark Knight's hard to heal. You don't have to do any healing if the Dark Knight never takes damage. Just stun everything. It's just too easy. Well, let's get some Rapture in here. Oh, frog time. I am I always a frog. All right, can I stop being a frog now? I wanna, I wanna, I wanna hit the boss. Let me hit him. There we go. Eh. Am I, am I too small for the AOE? Oh, nice. GG. I didn't even have to shrink. All I had to do was crouch. Nice try, idiot. Oh, cool, another elevator. This next pool can actually be a bit of a menace, but this has gone pretty well so far, so I don't think we're gonna have a problem with it. Open with regen. Flattest misery. Tetragrammaton. Right, cool, didn't even need the benediction. Let's slap another medica on there while we're running. Get stunned, idiots. And a flattest misery. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we need the benediction. Okay. Oh, I forgot temperance. I didn't realize I had Temperance at this level. <laughs> this could have been 20% easier to heal. Let's turn that on as a mitt. Mega Graviton sounds like it's gonna hurt. Yeah, it kinda does. Ah, uh, how? Now we go to Silent Hill. Oh man, it sucks here. Not actually sure what rig this one is. This uh doesn't look familiar to me. So the posture reminds me of uh, Echidna, but I think it has more articulation than I, than Echidna by a long shot. So I don't know. Why I keep regening the tank. I should really be just throwing Tetras. Old habits die hard, I guess. All right. Well, that's pretty easy. Got the tank. That was a good tank. Get me the heck out of here. I want to be gone. Well, I mean, that did give me almost a full level, so... All is not lost. It did not, however, help me with my book at all. Okay, so... I have to do a level 1 to 49 dungeon, so... Oh, God. Why are all the highest level dungeons the worst possible ones? Yeah, I don't want the possibility of going to Darkhold or Stone Vigil. Let's, let's just go Armvale. Bro, no insta-queue? Are you kidding me? Don't they know who I am? There we go. You can't just not insta-queue when I'm playing White Mage. Uh, by the way, how do I play White Mage at this level? I have Cure 3, but not Medica 2. That's crazy. All right, here we go. Time for the disco party. So this situation right here is why, uh, when you do this pull, you go into the boss room and wrap around. Because you got these idiots that, you know, will range attack you. And you group those up by breaking line of sight. Because if they don't have line of sight, they'll move toward you until they do. So yeah, you go into the boss room, hook around the corner, and then everything will stack up right inside the door. Maybe like Medica 1. Ah. Whoops. I was trying to find a central point in between everybody. I forgot the boss cleaves. Oh no. Oh no, not like this. Gunbreaker Aurora. Uh, Picto doesn't have any sustain. Okay, there's the Aurora. Ah. 
looking at those fruit debuffs though. It's gonna counteract all the healing. Brutal Shell. The name of the game is Brutal Shell. Here's a tip. If you're in a desperate situation on a low-level gunbreaker that doesn't have Heart of Corundum, just do with the 1-2 of your combo and not the 1-2-3. Because every second hit of your combo, you get Brutal Shell, which heals and shields you. So in that scenario, you just go 1-2, one, 1-2, two, one, two, one, two, and you live. Uh, at least I still have Holy. And I can throw rocks at things. Wee. Although Noah's size does make me a sad boy. Alright, get this guy out of here. Alright, well, it's uh, time to deal with the mistress. Which of course means I'm gonna throw rocks at it. The white mage solution to all of your problems is just throw rocks at them. The white mages have been hitting problems with rocks for 40 years. Ain't no reason to stop now. I gotta cast regen on the tank to simulate Selene being here. But otherwise, I just continue throwing stones. Alright, tank was good. Calm the tank. Run for my life. Never be seen again. Now we need a level 50 dungeon. Arum Veil hard? Oh, if only. Well, goodness, there's a lot of choices. I suppose the question is which one is actually, like, which one do I want to do? MSQ Roulette has a 60% chance of getting me a level 50 dungeon. Or I could get Porta Decumana and have all of my time wasted. Let's take the risk. Oh, don't let me down. Okay, good. Castra Meridianum. This was the one we wanted most. We got a Reaper and a Bard. Not a Viper or Picto in sight. Finally got some Medica 2 action. And now the fun really begins. Non-stop holy. Lameo. Life is good. It's a good day to be a white mage, I think. Though I'd still rather Art of War and let Selene handle all the healing. I must admit, slapping everything around with holy does have a level of satisfaction to it. Let me just let Medica 2 be the healer. Medica 2 regen the tank. All I gotta do is cast holy. I'll tell you what though, I've always hated trash spam boss fights. This one's no exception, it's kinda crap. Not a huge fan. But real OGs remember the end of Castrum Meridianum the way it used to be. You finally got through all the gates. You were ready to take on Livia. And there, standing in the way, were simply six Magitek Colossi just chilling. And the idea was that, oh, you stealth around them. Or you could charge in and fight them. Noobs these days will never know the glory that is fighting all six of the Magitek Colossi in an eight-person Castrum Meridianum. Memes in the chat dick bag on the markers. Y'all don't know what you missed. Now, I'm not saying it was good before, but it sure could be fun at times. We had to blow up the fuel depot back in the day. It was a whole different world that we once lived in. I can't imagine starting the game after those changes and never getting to experience them. It's like never going to a red roof McDonald's with the french fry lights on the top. Why does McDonald's look like an office building now? Remember, Taco Bell used to be like purple. It had like a purple roof or whatever. They would have those, those weird like hard plastic chairs that looked like toothpaste. Now it looks like an office building. I know times change, but I just want to know who said, hey, let's take all this stuff that was fun and colorful and make it boring AF. When did that switch flip? It was that same era when everyone was going for flat, minimalistic logos. Sorry, this has nothing to do with Castro Meridianum. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, there's a, there's a robot here and we're killing it. Ah, I forgot my food buff again. There we go. And now I cast Holy a lot. Maybe it's the really long wind-up that the spell has, but it don't hit the same as Art of War. It certainly brings a type of satisfaction, but it's not the same as Art of War. Art of War is just like instant gratification. Holy, you gotta work your way up to it, but then after everything becomes stun immune, it's, it loses some of its luster. It's, the fun you have with Holy at the top of a pull is great, but once the stun wears out, it stops being quite as fun. Alright, let's fire up the strobe light again. Oh yeah, this section here, there were two uh, cannon towers that you had to climb up to activate the uh, the gates, or to unlock the gate rather. And then there were guns up there that you had to fire at an airship that would come down. This is also where the six Magitek Colossuses were stood. Now you'd be correct in saying that a lot of stuff in ARR dungeons, particularly the, uh, you know, Castrum and Praetorium, a lot of that stuff was janky AF, but I feel like it had some charm to it. The new version is a lot more streamlined, but it's also a little bit less memorable. Now we get a three minute unvoiced cutscene of Livia complaining about how much she loves Gaius. And I'm over here like, bro, I was just looking for the bathroom. Oh, angry salamander. This salamander is angry AF. Why do you think the salamander is so mad? I suppose if I was a salamander, I'd be pretty mad too. I guess. I don't know. What do salamanders do all day? Do you think they pay taxes? Hey, then they'd really have a reason to be mad. Alright, get me out of here. Well, might as well get that Heavensward dungeon out of the way. It's 51 to 59. I don't think there's really a winning pull on this selection, so let's see what it's gonna be. The Vault. Then away we shall go. God, if you really want to feel the clash of new 14 versus old 14. This is probably the easiest way to do it. Watching a Pictomancer in the vault. <laughs> Heavensward is this, this really dark gothic expansion and 
<laughs> Meanwhile, we've got one of our DPS swinging around a cartoon hammer. Can't believe we're going to kill Sir Adelpha with finger paint. Yeah, get him with that hammer. Can't help but wonder why the second and third bosses in this dungeon have voices, but the first guy doesn't. Like, did they just forget to record it? Doesn't matter, he's getting hammered anyway. Whoa. Get this pie dish wearing idiot out of here. Oh, I, I died. <laughs> Lameo. That was awkward. Now, I stood in AoE to cast my, my Medica. I did not expect it to actually kill me. It's pretty rare that that happens in an MSQ dungeon, but well, sure enough, lo and behold, somehow we found the one NPC that has an attack you have to dodge. <laughs> I return. <laughs> These rats are filthy AF. And we beat up the holy flames by painting on them. Ah, uh, the tank. No. Holy crap. Ah, saved it. Should probably pay more attention to what's going on. I don't feel entirely awake today. Alright, uh, give it to the Viper. Okay. We need a level 60 dungeon. I think I can drag some idiots into Soul Mal hard. That one's pretty quick. Well, seems I can. I had to run this dungeon so many times for the triple triad card, but I recall it being pretty fast. And now we just cast Holy, beating up all the uh, real monsters. All right, easy. Oh, cool, I have Tetragrammaton at this level. I basically have my whole kit, and Warrior has self-heal, so nothing I do really matters. Maybe I should go on strike. <laughs> Maybe attempting to punish other players will cause Square to care about my plight as I continue to pay them. Ah. Uh, oh god. That's ah, fine, he's dead. So what level does White Mage get this fabled gap close at? Uh, oh my god, it's level 40. Wait, I already have this. Wee. I mean, 60 second cooldown's kinda long, but better than not at all, right? Ow. Oh, everything's already dead. Oh no. Uh, time to fight this guy. Is this like the most recycled boss rig? There's like three different hunts that use this guy. He's a dungeon boss all the time. I'm pretty sure it's the proto carbuncle as well. So like they use him in raids all the time. I don't even remember when he first showed up. Was it Vigil Hard? Zone Vigil Hard? Man, I wonder what uh, P7S is like now that White Mage has dash. It was always a struggle doing purgation. Constantly running back and forth, but your movement abilities are Lilies and Dia. You had to really plan that out pretty well to not lose up time on that. But now you get a dash at the top of the mechanic and probably a dash, like, I think it goes on for about 60 seconds. You should be able to dash at least twice. Man, I can't wait to raid in Dawn Trail. I'm not too enthusiastic about uh, PF, so I typically raid in PF, so, you know, doing savages, I'm gonna be probably trapped, walled on prog for a long time, a lot of times. It's gonna happen. It's just gonna, oh man, prog is gonna be so slow. But I am very curious to see what the fights are gonna be like. This whole fight just feels like such a pyros moment. <laughs> Did so mal hard predict pyros? Lava scorpion. Ah, crap. Behold! Ow. I think the most awkward part about playing White Mage is that if I need to spot heal my spot heals other than like Tetragrammaton. If Tetra's on cooldown, my spot heal is a Lily at this level. A flattest solace. But it's a GCD. So if I'm in between attacks, I can't do an instant spot heal because it's not a weave. So you kind of have to keep an eye on when the damage is coming out so you can make sure that you're not half a second late because sometimes that half second matters. People live and die in that half second. All right, well, next up is Circus Tower. It's uh not as fun these days as it was a few days ago, but let's go ahead and get in there. Maybe. Well, all right, here we go. Circus time. Maybe. Hey, ready up, DPS. Wake up. It's time for the tower. <laughs> I have John Healer in my party who says, let's heal all over this guy. <laughs> John Healer, yep, it's healing time. <laughs> all right, Silo Hungers for man flesh. Okay, um, oh, all right, I've been iced. I need to be fired. Or dead. That's also fine. Oh, God, there's so many orbs everywhere. This is a DPS check, isn't it? I guess not really. And look, now I can be Sila too. Alright, it's Glacia Labolas time. He's gonna Glacia Labolas. Uh, what? Come. I'm told there's jumping around in this fight if you uh, don't kill him right away. Which now that I see all these uh, these platforms around the arena, I can see where that might fit in. Oh well. How? Oh god, fire. 
And up we go. Well, alright, time for Amon. It's not as exciting now that I know it's just a regular Amon fight. We're just gonna beat him up and then he's gonna die. Think of what we could have had. <laughs> the jank shall not be forgotten. So here, people get tethered to orbs and there's these cum-cums. Look at him, he's cum-cum. Man, I... It's cum cum. And there's there's these these balls that you get that make you small. And you're supposed to hit the cum cum with the small balls. Ah. And that makes them easy to kill. Oh no, not John Healer. But for the most part, we just kill this guy until he's dead, and then lo and behold, he is dead. And then we fight Zandy. We attack him by hitting him a lot, and then eventually he dies. He's got like three mechanics. He explodes. Every now and then he makes an earthquake, and then sometimes he summons meteors. But me, I only have one mechanic. I just throw rocks at him. Burning rave. Bam! I'm just saying, I never met an emperor I couldn't throw a rock at. Hasn't happened yet. And now he's dead again. Stupid idiot clone gets double deaded. And away I go. Hooray. I'll be honest, I don't know if I want to sit through a 30 minute queue for Weeping City. Because historically, it does tend to take that long. But I will gladly queue for some A6. I never remember which fight is which in Alexander. So I guess we're going to find that out. Uh, none of this is familiar to me. Oh god, why am I standing in front of that? I hate the Hummelfaust. Why he gotta hit me so much? Oh no. It's Ratfink's Twinkle Dinks. Alright, so be it. Oh god, why is he gigantic? I ain't never met a Twinkle Dinks I can't throw rocks at. Why am I tethered to the thing. This fight got mechanics or something, like... He's glupt looping. Oh god, lightning. I think this fight do got mechanics. I'm glad this isn't a mentor roulette. There's no expectation of me knowing what I'm doing. Okay, so it seems like we need to take that lightning rod out for sure. I thought I saw a bomb on the ground. I'm gonna look into it. I'm gonna look into it. And by look into it, I mean trial and error. I'm not actually gonna look it up, I'm too lazy. I just hope somebody knows what they're doing. Either converter hums to life. Okay, so I get tethered by this, but like, well, let's see what happens. What if I go in this? I'm a bird? Uh-huh. I'm a bird, what does this do? I'm a, a gorilla? <laughs> what? what? What do these do? Apothecary and browbeat. Oh, I need to hit the bomb. And, okay, okay, okay. What? Oh, I don't think that's what we wanted. Uh, where is it? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, we didn't get electrocuted to death, so something must have gone right. Ow. Ow. I will never die. Oh god, there's snakes. Oops, GG tank. My bad, I wasn't paying attention. I forgot bosses at this level actually do damage. Uh, get healed. A lot. There's a chimera. Gobbledy groper. I don't like the sound of that. Rat finks. Uh, shock therapy. That. Lightning! Okay. I thought it was gonna be that thing that executes us again. It was just a light shock. Just, just a little one. Oh boy. Lightning! Oh man, we got smart bombs now. Can I use the smart bomb to order a pizza? Ow! You think the smart bomb can play Skyrim? I take that, Twinkle Dinks. Hate that guy. I think. Uh, we'll give it to the Elzen. Did you open those boxes? We out of here. All right. We are up to six. We got another one for a Breath of the Creator. That's nine, isn't it? That's ten. Let's uh, let's see what we get. This looks an awful lot like the Cruise Chaser place. This might be Cruise Chaser. Well, only one way to find out, huh? Into the Ingress Lane Brick Strike Box. That's not Cruise Chaser. This guy sucks. Well, all right, if we must. Oh God! Here comes the Gob Press. Okay. All right, we sorted that out. Gob Rush, Rush Gob. Ow, our poor tank. As long as I keep Medica 2 uptime, everything will be fine. Probably. He's charging a green. Ah. Okay, so green is a donut. I do, I'm stuck in the paralysis pudding. It's only three volt stacks. I'll be all right. Watch out for the chainsaws. All right. Easy enough. Get me the heck out of here. There's the situation. We've got seven duties complete. Let's go ahead and see what stickers we are going to get. Um, yeah, this layout sucks. So we're going to re-roll it. Shuffle or boogie. This one's a little better, but it still kind of sucks. So we're going to re-roll it. Oh my God. These all suck. I get like anything good. I can't. One last re-roll. Bro. Well, it's possible to get two lines here. Unfortunately, there's not really anything left I can queue for. Um, Weeping City is possible, but the wait time on Void Arc raids is usually like 
20, 30 minutes. Might not be so bad since it's midday and there's a lot of people doing roulettes for leveling, but I just don't feel like dealing with it. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and knock out some of these easy extremes and just see what my final set of lines is. First things first, Minstrel's Ballad, Ultima's Bane. Oh wait, I just queued for that. Hold on. That's not what we want to do. Also, let me not be a, a white mage here. There's just no need to. So uh, here's, a, here's a bit of a joke for you guys. Um, what did the drill say to the idiot? Get drilled, idiot! Yeah, <laughs> LaMeo. Take that, idiot. Get me out of here. We can go ahead and check that off. We still didn't get a line. All right. What is this grand conspiracy against me to prevent me from ever succeeding in life? So, we've got one, two, three, four opportunities to pull a line here. It's 50-50. So let us commence the drilling of the idiot one more time. If I don't get a line, I'm going to rage. All right, let's try this again for 10 points. What did the drill say to the idiot? Get drilled, idiot! Get chainsawed. Get dead. And dead he came to be. All right, Chloe. There's a lot riding on this. I think you and I both know that. We've come to an understanding here. You're going to give me a line, or I'm going to give you a line. A firing line. <laughs> okay, I think that I can accept this. However, I should have gotten two. A fitting death! All right, let's turn this thing in. So 500 Poetics, that's going to help with Manderville Relics. And I could take MGP here, but I think this certificate is actually good for Materia. Let me see. Oh, so it is. Uh, yeah, I can get Materia 12 with... Oh, you need two of them. Ah, crap. I guess I can't get anything good. Well, we'll hold on to that. Maybe it'll add up. And there's half a level worth of XP. Can't complain about that. So all in all, that was uh, fairly successful, I guess. We got our Wondrous Tales done. I gained almost two entire levels of White Mage, and uh, I think we made up pretty well here. It's also another 500 Tome Stones on the pile toward the long, long Manderville Relic grind. Sorry, I've been a little, uh, been a little sluggish today. I was streaming Dawn Trail nonstop last week, and I've been... <laughs> Just putting in ridiculously long hours, and uh, yeah, it's catching up to me. So, I was supposed to record this video on Saturday. I'm currently doing it on Monday. It's been a ton of fun playing the new expansion, and it's been hard to stop to take the time to actually put videos together. But yeah, I think this is going to be the move. The plan will be we'll do our weekly Wondrous Tales until I unlock Mentor Roulette again. I have to finish the MSQ first and then knock out a couple of Endwalker trials that I never did. Because, yeah, as you can see, I haven't done a single duty in Dawn Trail, so we got to get all of those knocked out. Although, if you want to watch the process, I am currently streaming Dawn Trail MSQ live over on my Twitch stream. That is, of course, Twitch dot tv slash cider spider and if you come along for the ride you can also until the 29th collect this free chalker poker mount via twitch drops he is 100 certifiably dead boy so definitely consider giving the stream a follow but otherwise i'm gonna get back to the main story and giving out them boys one like equals one dead boy keep okay, bye